work start today. You're watching Canada's Weather Network. To help you plan your activities in the coming days, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. To upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. When severe weather strikes, get critical information through Storm Center on our app, website, and TV channel. Stay ahead of active weather. As the crisis underway in Ukraine continues to unfold, you can't help but feel helpless here at home and wondering what you can do. The Canadian Red Cross is here to help. You can donate online or call in to help. This is our Matt D. Nicolantonio enjoying a day off. Now we know what he does in his spare time. He's a hockey coach. This is a little son. It's his first time playing hockey this winter. And Unfortunately, that rink is going to see better days after we're done our Sunday. The reason being, look at where that warm front is. It is north of Sudbury. And now this is a higher resolution model that we normally use in the summer. But I want to use it now because I want to pick up on these little pockets of yellow and red through cottage country in southern Ontario. That could be some morning thunderstorms in the warm sector as those move through. Through the afternoon, we'll see that cold front cut through. That's going to be when our temperatures are warmest, but also our winds are strongest. We will look at the winds in a second. Now watch the cold front. It doesn't go much further south than Lake Erie, and that's going to be drawing in our next system for our Monday morning. So Monday morning might be starting our commute with a little bit of mixing across the 401 corridor through the afternoon. We will go str over to straight snow. Our temperatures are going to be fluctuating zero, maybe two degrees. So uh, we might accumulate about five centimeters of snow, but you might not measure that by the course of the day. Uh, so this is our additional snowfall through the remainder of our Sunday Highway 17. You've seen the majority of it. Uh, Highway 11, that'll continue. Now, anywhere south of that snow, that's where the winds will be a concern. You've likely noticed your special weather statements for the, those wind gusts, 70, 80 kilometers an hour. In terms of our timing, that's going to be right through the early afternoon. So the GTA, 2 p.m., that's when we're going to start to see the winds slowly start to shift, but 
the strength. We will see be seeing gusts about 90 kilometers an hour. Uh, Prince Edward County, Niagara, on top of the escarpment, here on shores, that's where we could be seeing upwards of 100 kilometers an hour. And those will slowly start to shift towards the west, northwest, as our Sunday uh, winds down and we head into that Monday morning. Now, our warm front stretching into Atlantic Canada as well. Fredericton, Moncton, you might see about five centimeters before we switch over to the rain. Halifax, you're going to switch over a little faster. Now, normally, when our low is north of Quebec City, it's going to track into Labrador. Now, watch this one. It's going to track towards Miramichi, Cape Breton Island. So that's where our heaviest swaths of snow is going to be tracking. Now, the warmth, it doesn't really move out before our next system moves in. So Halifax, you're not going to see a cool down before our next warm up. So there's our next round of snow staying to the north. Now, in terms of our snowfall for just this system, there's our swath of 10 to 20 centimeters, uh, including Charlottetown, Sydney and St. John's. Now, it's a totally different story. On the other side of the country, Vancouver, you're right under the high pressure, plenty of sunshine, maybe some morning fog thanks to that high pressure, but that is going to be the story for the next few days. Look at our upper ridge, that is pushing our jet stream all the way up into Alaska and Yukon and taking with it all that Pacific moisture and warmth. Now that is going to be bringing a different story for the prairies. Look at the prairies in a second. Now our high pressure is going to slowly sink south through our Sunday, Monday. Now into Tuesday, it's going to allow a little bit of that moisture to come in. So that'll be bringing some lower elevation rain for the lower mainland. Also dropping our freezing levels from about 2,000 meters to about 1,000 meters. So that'll be good news for the skiers that want a little more snow to secure some late season skiing skiing as we head through the remainder of our march in the prairies totally different story watching our high pressure drop into montana that's going to bring our warmth in for sunday afternoon northern alberta now you see all that cluster of fronts towards the north that is our clipper spawning up around uh, Yellowknife, and it's going to be tracking through northern saskatchewan northern manitoba it's not going to be really a snow story but it's definitely going to be a temperature story behind that cold front we have plenty of cold air so that cold front's going to be pushing that pacific warmth and moisture down into the u.s northwest and this is the core of that Arctic air that's going to be flooding central Canada by the middle of next week. Here's a look at uh, Regina. You should be about minus two this time of year. You're going to be about 15 degrees below seasonal and it's going to be sticking around for a while.